गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो विल स्टार्ट विद द रिव्यू ऑफ व्हाट वी हैव सीन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी इन लास्ट क्लास वी स्टार्टेड विद कॉन्फ़िगरिंग एप्लीकेशन रिकॉर्डिंग द स्क्रिप्ट understanding the script and objects understanding scope and its usage so this is the uh, these are all the topics that we covered in last session so when we did configure application of course it is available as a part of configure app is a part of configure menu Underneath, you have four settings. One, you have an application configuration. Second, you have environment. Third, you have test object map configuration. So that means, which are all the properties you can use for recognizing the object. so this is available as a part of configuration so then we can say the simple java script we moved on the java script that is the scripting we have used there is one more simplified scripting is there we will start with, uh, today on that so in java scripting the way the script is generated it is about object dot action so first is rft needs to recognize the object on record i'll say on recording what are all the activities that happen on recording rft needs to recognize the object second object is added to the repository or we call it as test object map third for the recognized object from the test object map config the recognition properties are added with along with weightage so this is what happens at the time of recording then generate the script along with action performed on that object so this is the way the recording happens so behind the scene we can all the activity that happens at the time of recording so if you notice here since the object needs to be added to the test object map and the object needs to be recognized with the recognition properties configured in the test object map config The most important part is the speed at which we record. In case if you record at very uh, high speed, there is a possibility that there are some lines get skipped at the recorded script. So care has to be taken to ensure all the lines that is available in the recorded script are the one. Which on which you have performed the action in reality, so you need to be careful. Next happens the activity that happens is the replay. Replay, what all the activity happens? Read the script, right? Then recognizes the object in the. application and the test aup we call it as app and the test
right? Using test object map recognition properties. Using test object map recognition properties, he tries to recognize the object in the application and the test. On recognition, right, he uses the weightage to recognize the object. There are two parameters in weightage. One, we call it as recognition score. Minimum or it has to be a 10,000. This is the default set. Next, we have last recognition score, which is a default value of 20,000. So, this is the basis on which the recognition happens. So, he uses the weightage to recognize the object in the application and the test. Then, once recognizes, he performs the action that is recorded on that object. Action can be putting the value inside the object. Action can be retrieving value from the object. It can be of any of the same. So, this is what happens at the time of scripting. So, whether it is a Java scripting or a simplified scripting, this is what it happens. What we have seen is Java scripting. So, the Java scripting that is compiled is object dot action. On recording, RFT recognizes object using the recognition properties configured in text object map. And it generates the script along with the action performed on that object. While we play, he recognizes the object in the application and the test using the test object map properties, recognition properties. He uses the weightage to recognize the object. Recognizing, recognition score, the 10,000 being the default value. Each weightage multiplied by 1,000 is approximately the yeah, uh, using, he uses the weightage to recognize the object. 10,000 is the default value for recognizing the object. And last recognition score, the maximum value that can be used for recognition is 20,000. Any object fails, he uses that for a failure object, weightage into approximately 100, which need not be 100 exact. So, that is how the recognition scores are manipulated. And then, once the object is recognized, he performs the action that is recorded on that object. These are all the scripting activity that happens behind the scene. These are all the actions that get performed by RFC. This is one of the reasons it is very important that you, when you add a script manually, it is not advisable first. If you are in case if you want to do it, you need to ensure the test object map is added first. You need to add the object to the test object map and then you can manually add the script. There is no issue. So, this is what we have seen on day two. So, we are going to move on today's topic. For uh, contacting me for any technical information, you can use this mail ID. You can contact me at any time. Right? I am just uh, chatting. I will just pass on the link that we have used for recording now. Right? Uh, shortly. So, then the topics that we are going to cover today, parameterization, verification points, Printing to the console and to the report. Day 4 topics will be Java scripting. Basic Java scripting that you need to be aware of. 
Why do you need to do it? That we will do it in the last class. So the, the last class and fourth and fifth class will be a continuation of Java session that goes up to the file handling as well. So this what we are going to cover is parameterization, verification points, how to print information that is user defined information either to the console report or to the report. These are all the topics that we might uh, we will be covering it today. Any questions? You can always put the questions in the chat. Happy to respond to those questions as well. So let us move on to today's session. Before I go into the session, I'll just give it in the chat. I hope all the people have joined. Uh, this is the link that needs to be used for that. Uh, I think I am talking to everyone. You can use this link for recorded session. This is of day two. I have actually passed that information uh, to the people. Uh, coordinator, unfortunately, it does not reach you. Uh, this we are, I have done it on Saturday. That is why I am given the mail today. So, any questions, any uh, information that you would require, you can pass the mail to this mail ID so that I can respond to you at the end. Please note down the mail ID. Thank you. Now, let me go into the topics that we plan to cover today. So, before I start the parameterization, let us finish up some basic things. One, what is the another alternative switching that uh, available and the importance of understanding the script. Right? Anyway, we have covered on day one, just for your basic understanding. Before you start, you can see the way the script is generated. As I said earlier, when I want to click on quantity, when I want to type value on quantity, first he recognizes the object quantity dot script. Then he puts the place and order, this is the frame name. Under this frame name, he puts the input key. This is very important for you to understand. This is the way the script is generated. Right? So, when he directly, he does not type the value onto the quantity. So, this is one important point you need to understand because when you are typing the script, you have to be very careful when how the basic structure is working in the RFP. So, it is not directly object dot action, first is he recognizes the object like quantity field, then he goes to the input keys using the frame name, then input keys whatever the value we have typed. So, this is an important part. I will go to the another script, I just click on record. When I click on record, you can see now project to script to is selected. In recording mode, I am now choosing simplified scripting. So, simplified scripting is another mode of scripting. In simplified scripting, there are certain things which you cannot do. Right? But easy to understand. It is purely object dot action. I go to the next simplified scripting I choose. I click on next. All other things, as I said, I will keep it as it is. Please note, in case if you want to have only one object map and I want others to share it, use three object map, set the test as a default for new scripts in this project. That means whatever the name that we create now, we will use it as a default for all the objects. That is not advisable, but you can go ahead and do that as well. Super class, there should not be any change. So, we will, we cannot change that as well. It is a class that is created by rational functional tester, which is used for 
other recording purpose. Now I open an application now. In case if I have to work on a desktop applications like calculator etc. You need to ensure .NET framework is installed in the local machine. Right? So without .NET framework we cannot have the Windows objects recognized. That's very important part that you need to note. .NET framework is mandatory for any Windows objects to recognize. In case of uh, web objects, it is clear in case if I am using a X3, we need to have a minimum service pack 3. As I was yesterday mentioning to you that there was some error. The error is because of I don't have a service pack 3 for this 8.5.1 version of RFC framework. So without a service pack 3, it cannot recognize the object or Java is not getting enabled. The Java runtime environment is not getting enabled. Even if it is enabled, he is not able to recognize that through the browser. So the reason for that is service pack 3 has to be installed into the XP. So that is the important point. So now as I am going to record now, I am choosing say one of the items. Now I am into the simplified recording. I click on place order. I click on existing customer. Right, I just type in now I click on say quantity say two. Again I did the same thing, backspace and then type the quantity. I expiration date say twelve twelve. I this time I choose now the card type as well. So that one of the list box content we know how it is set it next. I say place an order. Order number is 33. Three. I say OK. I open the invoke the application. So it is mandatory. Base state. I close the application as well. I stop my record. Finished. So now the new script is added. You can see now it is easy for you to understand. So click quantity, type value, backspace with two, card count, a card number your place, type value. So it is really easy to understand the, the script that the way it is not generated. So that is one advantage of having it in this mode. Right? So all other test object maps remain same. So you will create a test object map and each object is recognized along with the test object map. There is no change in that. But customizing this is slightly a issue. That's the only thing. So some people are familiar with this, uh, comfortable with this kind of a script generation. Older people like me are very comfortable with the scripting that we generated in the Java mode. So both are allowed, both can be created, in both ways you can manage the object, there is no problem at all. So this is about two types of scripting, one is simple Java scripting, another is simplified scripting. Right here you, you may not see the objects or text, that is the difference because that is the Java principle. Here you will see simply the object name, click event on that object, click event on the quantity, type in event on the value. So this is how the script is generated. This is just for your understanding. We have a two modes of scripting. These are all part of the certification questions that you will That is why we are just touching upon this as well. The next is what will happen if there are two objects of same name pattern. Let us take it in this way. Let me go to the place and order. 